good evening it's evening here in the United Kingdom good morning good afternoon wherever you may be peace of the Lord be with you this evening we are going to talk about dreams some Christians still run around to pastors for deliverance from bad dreams, arousing dreams, um, scary dreams. As a child of God, you do need to be running around Dreams are, well, I define dreams as activities which you have no control over that happens when you are in the subconscious, that is when you are sleeping. Um, a dream is different from coma, it's different from induced, medically induced coma. A dream is something most human beings do when they go to sleep, whether you're a Christian or not. But as a Christian, if you're having a dream that is uh, unpleasant and has turned to a nightmare, you have the tools, which is prayer. You don't need to be running around from G.O. to Reverend for Deliverance. Let's quickly see what uh, the definition of a dream is. And what um, Google defined a dream as. Google defines a dream as a succession of images ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep, which is similar to what I uh, also think a dream is. And a nightmare, Google defines as a frightening, unpleasant dream. Um, in the Old Testament, God uh, use dream in communicating even in the New Testament we'll quickly go to 1st Samuel 1st Samuel chapter 28 verse 15 1st Samuel chapter 28 verse 15 and Samuel said to Saul why hast thou disquieting me to bring me up and Saul answered I am so distressed for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou may make known unto me what I shall do. Well, as Christians, we shouldn't be running to uh, wake up the dead to inquire what we should do as uh, Saul did there. And that was before Christ was manifested. Um, you find that when God departed from Saul, he stopped communicated uh, through dreams to him. Then we go to uh, the New Testament. The Gospel according to Matthew chapter 1 verse 20 Matthew 1 20 and it says but while he thought on these things behold the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream saying Joseph thou son of David fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit Holy Ghost so you see, um, a dream can be a way of uh, communication. 
and it could be a revealing dream uh, whatever dream it is whether it's a revealing dream or uh, a scary dream you need to pray and if it's a, a revealing dream like that which we've just read about where the angel of the Lord um, went to appear to Joseph uh, also pray and uh, then take heed of the instruction if um, you're not sure pray but if it's about sometimes you know a dream wants you about uh, uh, danger in all things pray because when you pray the Holy Spirit in you will guide you and when you pray there is power in the blood of Jesus so you shouldn't be uh, like so running around uh, uh, if there is any thing uh, God has already told us that in the world we will have tribulation I'm paraphrasing here in the world we will have tri uh, tribulation but in him we will have peace and he asks us to cheer up because he has overcome the world uh, and that you can find in uh, John 16 33 so I would like to encourage you that as a child of God the Almighty God God the Father God the Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit uh, should be your first part of call in any situation you don't go running around uh, you forsake in prayer whatever it is that is harassing you and you shall have victory because Jesus himself said I have overcome the world God bless you and I hope you have a sweet drink.